What if there is a way to put Satan through trouble? Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of doctor in ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sun Bun Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Would there be a way to put Satan through trouble? If I knew the secret, I would definitely crush him. I was wondering about the possibilities and prayed to the Lord before I went to bed. Then I had a dream. I visited a church member who was in agony from Satan's attacks. I was going to just tell her to get a prayer partner and receive assistance. Because I felt deliverance ministry would not be possible due to COVID-19. But I felt the urge to pray for her since I was next to her. So I had my mask on and put my hand on her chest. At that moment, she started twisting her body and the deliverance process began. Nothing had happened when I talked to her with many words. But the moment I laid my hands on her, deliverance took place. She vomited and twisted her body for a while and finally said, I don't feel any pain. They all left. And she went under the Lord's presence in a very comfortable position. When I woke up, I remember the scripture in Mark 16. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Mark 16, verse 17 and 18. The Lord began to speak. You must remember this scripture if you want to smash a blow on Satan. Laying hands is what Satan hates the most, because there is anointing. Ponder about this scripture. It means the signs will follow the believers. It does not mean to go after the signs, but the signs will follow you. Since it says such signs will follow when you lay your hands on, that action is what Satan hates the most. You hesitate to pray for healing because you are worried, thinking, what if nothing happens even if I lay my hands on? but that is merely a concern. You do not need any ability to achieve a sign. Just believe and obey, and the signs which follow the believers will come as a gift. Hesitating to lay hands means lack of faith, hence no signs. If you trust me and know that I am Jehovah who heals and lay your hands, the disease will be healed. But these days, it is not possible to meet person to person because of COVID-19. What would be the alternative method? Then entrust to God who surpasses time and space and pray through a phone call. First, tell the person to place own hands on the problem spot. And you proclaim as follows. God is love. God is holy. Jehovah Mekotishkim, Leviticus 20, 8 and 7. God is righteous. Jehovah Tiskinu, Jeremiah 23, 1 through 8. God is victory. Jehovah Nisi, God is a healer. Jehovah Rapha. God's names manifest power and the evil spirits hate God's names. You only need to reclaim the names of Jehovah with authority. 
What will drive away such persistent rascals? You don't have faith to begin with. How could you doubt even before trying? Why can't you understand that those evil rascals hate such proclamations? Those evil spirits who have been destroyed and disarmed before me are afraid of my name and tremble in fear. Just believe and proclaim. The person who is being preyed upon should place own hands on the problem spot. Then the anointing of healing will be transferred through the prayer. Anointing is alive. It works, surpassing time and space, and it transfers through the air, through the phone, internet, and band. Say it at least after you have tried it, you with little faith. Lord, I am so ashamed. These enemies are so resilient and persistent that they hardly leave once they are in. It seems like they look down on our deliverance ministry. Is it because we do not know the method? It is not that you do not know the method. It is the absence of faith. As long as you have faith, such signs will follow you. Those who have faith have the authority. I gave you the authority as you know how to use it. What is so pathetic is that these enemies know so well whether you use the authority or not, whether you are God or not. They bully the weak and become extremely cowardly toward the strong. Does it not say in Matthew 28 verse 18? And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Lord, even though we know it is written that way, it feels as if it has nothing to do with me. What should I do? Sometimes your faith seems to reach the sky, and sometimes you don't even have the faith of a mustard seed. Yes, when you are with me, I seem to proclaim my faith, but other times I feel smaller and smaller. If I am like that in spite of my long experience in deliverance ministry, how would other Christians be? Did I not say these signs will follow you? Therefore, what you need is your confidence in me. Trust in me. Lay your hands on the person and pray. Then the signs will follow automatically. If you try to make it happen with own effort, it will never happen. The signs will not follow you obediently. The signs submit to me. The signs are a part of my creation ministry. When you use the authority which I delegated to you and command, then the signs will obey and be manifested. This is the secret to conquer Satan. Do you think this is difficult? If you say it is difficult, how could I ever entrust my ministry to you? The reason why my disciples could triumph was based on their simple faith working in action. Please lay your hands on and verify whether the sign is manifested or not. Lord, please forgive our lack of faith. Forgive our foolishness of unbelief. Even though I believe everything in the Bible as the truth, I hesitate to act because I fear it might not apply to me. Please bestow your compassion and mercy to such feeble ones. Yes, you said it right just now. You are feeble beings, and fundamentally, you cannot raise up to the position of God. Therefore, there is nothing you can do on your own. You only need obedience to follow the word. Do not try to accomplish big things. There is no power generated from you. Your power is inferior to dust. I must intervene, and it is I whom Satan fears, not you. But now you have become the ones with delegated authority, and Satan will fear you. Have courage and lay your hands. I will take the responsibility, so you just do as I tell you. Thank you, Lord. Give us childlike faith. Even though I have led many meetings since 1989, 
I met numerous foreign ministers who led anointing meetings since 2007. And I could see and learn from them the things which you cannot learn from textbooks, but only from actions. Miracles, healing, and deliverance follow me naturally. It is important to learn by watching someone utilizing simple faith in action, but nobody is showing such things. We did not learn it from the church. We are accustomed to sermons, prayers, and praise in church, but they hardly show miracle ministry. It is so different from interns and residents getting all the required training before becoming a medical doctor. Our staff ministers have learned and continued this ministry in the correct way. When you do according to what you witnessed and taught, all signs will manifest themselves. I pray for the opportunity to hold anointing meetings in Korea again. In the meantime, try with your own body. Experiment with your own family members. Then the signs will follow and all the evil spirits will not be able to step into our home. Amen. In Hebrew, menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.